Welcome to Lady Geek TV's The App Show. We aim to show you apps which will make a practical difference in your life, for real. It's quite hard to believe that it's the 11th app show in the series already. The nights are drawing in, and by my calculations, that's... 40... 14,000 hours of programming? Wow. I can't even count the number of emails, tweets and messages we've had from you guys. Thanks so much, we love them, so keep them coming and we'll answer every single one. As you've no doubt guessed, this week's show is coming from the throbbing metropolis of Seven Oaks. No, hang on, where are we? Ah, the Factory of London, of course! We've selected a trio of apps that will help you make the most of the capital, be you a resident or a visitor. As Samuel Johnson once said, if you're tired of London, go and sleep in Dagenham. Is that right? If you're tired of London, you're tired of London? Ah, London, land of contrasts. I'm originally a naive foreigner from the land of Wales. I came here to seek my fortune in this exciting, busy, colourful city. But I've been here for long enough to fit right in and call myself a Londoner, and it drives me up the bleeding wall. Strike a light, me old China. I travel to and from work on the tube, and I need a distraction from being shoved up in some plonker's armpit. I love reading the Evening Standard on my way home, but if the tube's packed, and it's always packed. I don't want to fiddle with a paper. I don't read most of it. So that means carrying it back home with me or leaving it on the bus or the tube, which leaves the whole place in a, well, horrible pigsty. So that's where the Evening Standard's new app comes in really useful. You just fire up the app from your phone and it downloads the latest stories in a flash. Depending on your connection. There's nothing extra to carry, and you can read it where and whenever you like. So even if you're not in London, you can still get the local paper. It's a simple interface with tabs representing the different sections, news, business, sport, etc. And at the end of each article, you get the option to share it via social networking sites. Font size is too small, me mince pies it. If you like to customise your experience, there are lots of settings under the hood. So you can alter things like the amount of an article you download, the time between updates, and many more things, including font size. Overall, the Evening Standard app does just what the newspaper does. It's free, it keeps you company, keeps you informed. But it won't keep you dry. London is a city steeped in history. Everywhere you go, there are echoes of the past. Ancient rivers, ancient temples. Ancient drains, ancient central heating. <laughs> Wouldn't it be really great to use your phone to look back in time? Allow me to demonstrate our new iPhone app, Street Museum. Oh, hello. Who might you be? Well, I'm Anthony Robbins, and I'm the Head of Communications at the Museum of London. But let me take you by the hand and take you through the streets of London, because I want to show you our new iPhone app, Street Museum, which is a window through time. Ooh, a window through time. That sounds nice. What about the rain, though? Never mind that, Debs. Wow! How did you do that? Come on, there's history afoot. OK. Well, Debs, I promise you a window through time. And this is Street Museum. Literally, a museum in your pocket. This free app unites 200 images in our collections that's oil paintings, photographs, watercolours, with locations right through London. So here we are at the Royal Exchange in the heart of the City of London. And by pointing my iPhone right at the Exchange, it instantly knows where I am. And here we have two, three pictures coming up. These are images from the Blitz and also something from the Victorian era too. So all sorts of images just in this one location alone. Typical. Those roadworks have been going on since 1896. This is a great way of seeing London. Maybe you haven't got much time. Maybe you don't want to go to a museum. So use the museum in your pocket. Following the phenomenal success of the iPhone app, Museum of London are looking into creating an Android version too, so you should definitely let them know if you want one. It makes me look at London with totally fresh eyes. In fact, I fancy roaming around London right now with my new historioscope vision. And what better way to get around this wonderful, bustling metropolis than cycling around in the fresh air? Bicycles? You're having a laugh, ain't you? 
taking your life in your hands. Stuff up your jumper. Lock Stock Cycle Hire is an Android app which shows you all the docking stations in London so you can plan your journey. Once you fire up the app, it shows you all the bike stations nearby and displays how many slots are free or occupied. It also gives you a stopwatch counter because the first 30 minutes on these bikes are free. So if you don't wear a watch, it's a clever touch and the app gives a little buzz when your time is about to expire. As using a phone while you're cycling is possibly a little dangerous. It's a handy little app, so if you prefer bikes to buses or the tube, then we really recommend it. So if you join our Facebook page by clicking the like button, then leaving a comment or sharing the video, not forgetting to tag Lady Geek TV in the post, then you'll be in with a chance of winning the multi-messaging social networking Nokia E5. That's got to be worth at least a monkey. Have a happy week!